So I do have my ticket for Luther, The Fallen Son. I'm excited. I'm actually going to see it in the theaters. I will be reviewing it and posting that review on this channel. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it won't disappoint. Greetings, everyone. My name is Dr. Jason Freeman. I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. Now, in advance of the release of Luther, The Fallen Son, in theaters on February 24th and on Netflix on March 10th, I'm going to watch all five seasons of the show. I'm going to tell you what I liked about each season. I'm going to tell you what I didn't really like about each season. Then I'm going to tell you why I think you should see this season or just skip it. Now, at any point, feel free to click the notification bell or subscribe to my channel to get more content. So, without further ado, let's begin. was released in January of 2019 it was about three years a little over three years after the release of Luther season four and even though season five was released so long after season four um, the show really takes place or season five really starts right after the end of the events of season four we see Luther on the job as a police officer um, we see characters from season four kind of continue their arcs into season five um, we see characters, uh, kind of uh, new characters emerge, um, new character in particular. Um, and we also see the return of a character from uh, previous seasons. So what did I like about season five of Luther? Well, as with the other seasons, one of the things that really stood out about this season as well as the series as a whole what were the killers and so season five in my opinion does not disappoint when it comes to the killer that luther has to catch now i don't want to give away too much information on the killer because it's one of those things is that uh there's, there's a bit of a twist there's kind of a bait and switch type situation you think it's one person there's a whole different person that type of thing so i don't want to give away too much information but the point is once the actual killer is revealed uh, that's when you see, oh, this is really interesting. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things you have these people who seem like normal average people. And then, you know, because of a traumatic event, because of something, this is off with them. Um, they can become monstrous killers. And we see that with this particular killer. And so to me, this killer is on par with the killers that we saw in season one and season two. Um, also I would even throw in season four, um, that particular killer, I, I did, I did like. I, to me, he's probably one of the season four killer is probably one of the darkest ones of the series. And then season three had the disappointing one. So I'll definitely put um, this killer in season five up there, which was one of the highlights of uh, this season. Um, in regards to people, I liked. Uh, I like really liked the partner that Luther had in this season. Um, again, you probably, I mean, if you look at any of the trailers or anything for season five, or, or kind of have any, you know, see any images. Um, the partner is there. And so Luther's partner um, is really great. Um, there is someone who it's kind of like in, in season, I think it was season two. Um, they had this character who's kind of the voice of reason. So, you know, Luther's doing these kind of things that are, are questionable in regards to kind of ethics. And so this particular um, character would kind of speak up like, well, you can't really do that. And so in season five, you had a similar character. Um, and so I think it was important to have that character there because you're coming into the situation with fresh eyes. Uh, we've been with Luther for these four seasons. And now this new character who has just met Luther, you know, is starting to question some of the things that Luther does. And so the same kind of issues that pop over and over again with Luther pops up with this character. And I think it's important that they're there. Um, I like them. They, they seem like really cool, a really cool person. I really like this character. And so, yeah, that's one of the highlights of season uh, season five. And so in regards to what I didn't like about the season, it's, it's really weird because um, just a little overall, I, I like season five. I mean, I know some people didn't like season five. I like season five of Luther. And so the things that I didn't quote unquote didn't like weren't necessarily things I didn't like. These are things that either um, I, would, I would change about, about the show uh, or at least alter it a bit, or it could have been left out and have been better or been fine. Um, and so there's two things that fall in that category. So the first thing is the obligatory mobster subplot. <laughs> Ever since season two, 
somebody said, you know what? Let's stick a mobster in here. <laughs> Let's do it. So Luther's solving on these, these, these crimes, these serial killers. Forget that. Forget that. Let's put a mobster. Let's put a Tony Soprano or or a, a Tony Soprano type in there and make it the stakes even higher. Let, let's do that. I wish they didn't do that. The show is interesting enough without the mobsters. The mobsters kind of come in and kind of just. I mean, I guess the idea is it extends the show a bit, but also kind of takes the focus off the most interesting part of the show. Um, him trying to solve the crimes, and so I mean, I just think about if you had. Um, I don't know, like a, 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 back in the day, Columbo. You know, I used to watch Columbo back in the day. My mom was a big Columbo fan. And so you had Columbo, and all of a sudden, instead of Columbo trying to, like, piece together this, the mystery, Columbo's being chased by mobsters half the show. And you kind of forget who he's trying to catch. So that's kind of how it was with Luther a, a, a bit, especially with season uh, three. It was like that. Um, or because of the side plot. There's not necessarily mobsters, but more the side plot in that one. Um, but the point is... It's a distraction. And so it's not that it was bad because it actually did add some interesting tension um, to the show when you had the mobster subplot. It was just unnecessary. You don't need it. And that was all, that's always been my issue with this particular um, trope or this particular thing. And I know based on kind of the trailer for Luther, the Fallen Son, there's going to be some side stuff going on because, you know, Luther is in a particular position. I mean, if you see the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. So he's dealing with not just the killer, but also other forces trying to stop him as well. And so, again, I get it adds some tension. But for me, my most my interest was mainly on him solving the crime. And after season one, really, uh, from season two on, that became almost a side note to these other subplots, which I thought were just annoying. And the mobster in the last two seasons, so season five and season four, I like the mobster. They were a really good actor. I'm not sure the actor name, actor's name is. Hold on. George Cornelius played by Patrick Malahide. So that's the, the mobster. So George Cornelius is the character. Patrick Malahide is the actor. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. I mean, again, I, I like that particular character, but they didn't need to be in the show. And that's always my issue with the mobster subplot. So... I would say I got rid of it, but again, that's just, I mean, it's part of the show at this point. I mean, it's been, you know, five seasons, and so it's there. Um, but again, I just thought it was unnecessary. So it's something I largely didn't like. It wasn't that bad in this season. It was worse in season uh, two, um, in the, some of the pre previous seasons. But again, uh, that's just something I wasn't a big fan of. The other thing that I would say I didn't like, though, is I'm kind of on the fence about it, is the ending. Now, obviously, I'm not going to spoil the ending. If you have been watching the show, let's say you're seeing this before you watch the show or you've watched like through the first three seasons or whatever, um, and you haven't seen the ending, I'm not going to tell you what the ending is. But I'm just going to kind of tell you basically why I wasn't a huge fan of how it ended. And so with the ending, it was one of those things. It, it was kind of like the ending of season three. Uh, so the, the, it, we're going in a certain direction, and all of a sudden, they decide, let's just have a big action piece, uh, all kind of craziness going on. Involve, I'll say involving guns. I'll put guns in there. Okay, involving guns. We're going to have a, have some shootouts and all this other stuff in there. And it's one of those things that's like, why? Like, I don't understand why. Um, again, it's The show is great, and it's heading in, in, a, in a certain direction. Um, it's very cerebral, it's very intellectual, and then let's just do this thing and, and make it a big action piece or add some action elements because I guess people are bored. I wasn't, um, but again, the ending, it was just, it was, I, I wasn't a huge fan. I wish it ended a different way. I wish it ended better. And, and the weird part is the very end, at the very end, how, how Luther ended up, I don't mind that at all. In fact, I thought it made sense where he ended up at the very end. And again, if you've seen the trailer for Luther Fallen Son, The Fallen Son, you know how it ended. Okay, I'll, I'll put it that way. You, you've seen where it ends with that particular character. But my point is, to get there uh, from, again, the season beginning of season five to that particular point, I didn't like the pathway. I felt like the pathway was a little bit convoluted and silly. And I'll, I'll, I'll this is maybe spoiler-ish, Basically, okay, if you've seen the season one, you've seen the beginning of season one, this is a spoiler. If you haven't, then it's not a spoiler. The beginning of season one starts out in a certain way. A certain event happens that's pivotal for how the show goes 
going forward. There is a callback to that particular thing at the very end. It's full circle. And I get it. It was forced. <laughs> it was so forced. They had to get everybody in the position. It had to change dynamics between relationships to get there. But it had to happen in that way. And it didn't, actually. It could have happened in a different way. Um, you know, Luther had done enough stuff to end up the way he ended up. Um, or enough stuff had happened to make it, make it end up where, where he ended up. So they didn't have to end it in that way. Um, but again, they ended it in that way. And I didn't care for it. So, should you see season five or just skip it? So, what I'll say is this. If I was going to go back and look at the series again, I would look at season five again. Um, it would look at season one, definitely. That was my favorite. Season two, and then season five. Um, the other two, three and four, eh, I'll, I can skip those. Um, it is one of those things. I, I might would go through the whole the whole five seasons just to kind of, you know, just remember kind of the show again. Uh, though, I, I, though season three, I'm going to be kind of like, okay, here we go. Oh, I remember this. Oh, this, I didn't like this. Uh, especially, I didn't like that ending. But again, I might will go through it. But honestly, you don't have to. So again, if you're just going to watch three seasons, one, 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 two, and five. Yeah, so see it. See it because I, I think it, it's a solid season. The Kill is great. Um, it basically, it, it's suspenseful. It keeps you on your feet. They take some risk, which I do think pays off. Um, and I think ultimately the very end, the, the tip end of the sh of the series is fitting and works uh, based on where we're going over the past five seasons. Now, if you found that review interesting and or um, informative, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video. And if you have any questions about the Luther series in general or season five specifically, please leave those questions in the comment section below. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.